Hi, I'm Katherine Casey. I'm Kate McMahon, and this is SJ Today, Christmas edition. First off, we have an interview with Santa Claus. Hello, St. Joe's. Uh, Christian Reese here with SJ Today. I have a special interview today, and we're interviewing Santa Claus. Oh, 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 how are you? I forgot my bells, by golly, but it's great. Look at this. St. Joseph High School. Good Hello, to Santa. Be back. Hello, Santa. Good to see you. Good Good boy. See you How's everything here at St. Joe's? Ah. The senior lounge looks wonderful. I watch this, you know. I see a lot of things go on in the senior lounge, even though they don't know it, so. <laughs> so how's everything here? It's pretty good, yeah. Um, I actually was going to ask you some questions. Oh, okay, so, go ahead, entertain right. a few questions. So, I was wondering, you make a lot of presents every year for all the kids. So, we know that you got elves working for you, oh, but how many elves are actually working for you? Oh my goodness, we have, well, let me put it this way. On December 26th, after last Christmas, we had 2,400 elves. We currently have 1,457. Now you're probably wondering, what happened to all those elves? Yeah. Don't you want to ask me that? I, I would. Well, I hate to tell you, but you know something? They're such little people. They wind up getting run over, trampled. Mrs. Kloss winds up putting them in the stew sometimes, got caught in a blender. You lose them. They leave, you know, but we're stuck with 1,400 and some odd. They take up residence there on the North Pole, and they're wonderful little creatures. Wonderful little creatures. Well, um, I heard you mention Miss Kloss. I haven't heard from her in a while. How is she doing right now? Oh, Mrs. Kloss, let me tell you something. She's a wonderful lady. She's 947 years old. She's a pretty old lady. Pretty crabby, too. <laughs> So, what's your favorite thing about Christmas Eve? I mean, you have it every year. Uh, There's got to be some high point you're looking for. Well, the favorite, you know, my favorite thing, I guess, would be when we finally end the trip. But that's the best time because it's over. I'm finally rid of all the presents. And that magical sleigh and, the, you know, the reindeer are tired and all this business. But by that time, I've really had it, you know. It gets annoying in and out of that. You know, in and out. That's what, that's... That's probably my favorite. All right. Oh, and cookies. Cookies are good. Cookies, oh, yeah. They're not fattening, but that's beside that. You just tell us about your high point every Christmas, but what is the low point? Like, what do you hate most about Christmas? What uh, are you not looking forward to? Slipping off roofs. I mean, that's really a big thing. Um, that's a big problem. You know, getting caught in the crosswind. You know, you stop darting out on the North Pole, you zigzag around. Final question. What advice would you give a freshman that has been a little bit naughty this year? Oh, well, listen. They, it's inevitable. I, I accept that. You know, freshmen, the only advice I could have for a freshman is learn a word a day. That's important. They should always learn a word a day. Everybody, every freshman should learn something every day. And words are important. Um, the other advice would be probably, let me think, uh, definitely don't get married before the spring fling. That, that's important. They should never do that. Ask for books for Christmas. The heck with the games. The game time is over. That's eighth grade. I have no suggestions for sophomores. They have. They know everything. Juniors, by the way, there's a different. There's sort of a pecking order. Juniors, it's very important. Juniors should read a lot of British lit, okay, and do all the poets. That's important. Read the poets as much as they can. That's about it. And um, I would say for seniors. Now, this is really important. Send money to St. Joe's. That's very important. Make sure you send some in to Dr. Fitzgerald. Oh, Dr. Fitzgerald, you know, he needs that money. Never going to get that building finished. You'll have no windows next year, and you'll freeze out there if you don't get the rest of that stuff in. So from day one, be a good alum and send in a few buckaroos because we really could use it, you know. And maybe your own children will be here someday, and you can say, well, I was here when they built the place, you know. That's important. So those guys down in the alumni office, they need help. Remember that. That's about all the advice Santa has for today. It's a wonderful place to be. All right, well, uh, thank you very much for well, the interview. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be here back here. It's a terrible color in the lounge, but those are our colors. It's maroon and yellow. It's supposed to be maroon and gold, but the gold is... Yeah. Maybe I'll bring you some paint to fix the place up a little bit. Lots of pictures over there. Looks like Mr. Montelli probably takes up residence there once in a while, huh? <laughs> uh, good old Mr. Montelli, that's always good. Okay, well, listen, Santa's got to be on his way. Plus, I'm sweating in this thing. You know, it's very warm here. I'm used to cold weather. But uh, thank you for having me. No problem, Santa. Ah, pleasure. Hey, good luck thank next year. Thank you. All right, uh, St. Joe's, um, that was Santa Claus, and back to you. Thanks for tuning in to the SJ Today Christmas episode. Have a safe and Merry Christmas. Stay, Stay classy, classy, St. Joe's. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight. 
How I'll hate going out in the storm But if you'll really hold me tight All the way home